I have a quick little tip for you today that just might improve the performance of your Elementor editor significantly. If you have issues with the editor being slow or not loading well, stick around for a minute. My name's Tim, and with all of that said, let's get into the solution. And it's really just one word, templates. Templates are usually used so you can have the same kind of content on multiple parts of your website without having to change it on every page. You change the template, and it changes everywhere. But I've discovered another very useful use for them. If you have large containers filled with content, the Elementor editor is gonna be slow on that page. Sometimes to the point that it's impossible to work on the page. And it's the same thing with the new nested widgets. I've had serious issues because of the new nested tabs or the nested carousel. What I recommend you try is going into those containers, the content heavy ones or the ones with the nested widgets, right clicking them and selecting save as template. Name your template and press save. Then go into your WordPress dashboard, go under templates, saved templates and find your new template. Before we get to the next step, if this is helpful, please make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel. It really does help me out a whole lot. Then copy this shortcode. Go back into the editor, remove the container you just turned into a template and add in a new container. Inside that container, add in an HTML widget. Then inside that widget, under content, paste in the shortcode. And that's it. The reason this works is because now, while you're editing, Elementor is only loading the shortcode, not the actual content. So you essentially just removed all of that content from this page. This speeds up the editor significantly and your actual live page is not gonna be affected by this. So it's gonna look and work exactly the same. Then you can just edit these templates like you would any other template. And it's also easier to edit things in the template directly because you're just editing that content instead of the whole page. Just be careful when it comes to padding, margins and the width of the containers. I usually make sure the container with the short code is set to full width and that all of the padding and margin options are set to zero. And then I just control the actual width of the content, including the padding and margins in the new template. Using templates has really improved my workflow when dealing with content heavy pages. Some pages that were impossible to edit, literally impossible, are now easy to work with. Try it out, you can use it for multiple different parts of your page. Just try to structure your content so that you can save the things slowing down your editor the most as one template, if possible, instead of many smaller templates. I have another video that has another cool little tip that just might help you improve the performance of your Elementor editor even more. It did for me and hopefully it will for you as well. And if not, well, hey, you still have templates available. If you're interested, the link will be in the description. It's also a very quick, short video. If this video was helpful, first make sure you hit those like and subscribe buttons, and then go check out this video next. If you found this one interesting, I guarantee you're gonna find that one very interesting as well. Thank you for watching.